By thinking outside the box, South Korean table tennis champion Suyeon Lee was able to paddle her life into a new direction. At the age of nine, Lee began her competitive career training extensively with Olympic gold medalist Chung Hwa Hyun. She helped Lee win six titles as the Korean national junior champion. After moving to the U.S., Lee spread her wings and began a successful career as a model and actress, but she never gave up on her first love. Now she uses modeling and acting to help promote table tennis. These days, she says it's not about winning, but encouraging others to have fun by following their own passion. She's worked with the country of Georgia and its National Youth School Sports League to encourage young girls to hit over the net, whether it's in table tennis or their other aspirations in life. Table tennis uh, is such quick sports, it's a fast sports, and at the same time you have to think and make a decision in your brain first before hitting the ball. So all combined with your brain thoughts and your body movement, you have to use a whole, your, whole different portion of your body. So no other sports really can do. I had amazing experience to competing in China, but in America, people even don't know it is Olympic sports, so it, which means they take the sports more fun, recreation, like fun way. Everybody can play, no matter what age group are, I mean, different ages, so from little girl to old senior people and the big giants, guy to skinny girls, and they, they can beat each other. <laughs> I started tape playing table tennis when I was nine years old. And pretty much right away, after six months, I started competing locally and with my age groups, and they went states and national and world. I had no time to think about it when I was competing in South Korea because um, every day we wake up and we, we had to live by schedule for training and traveling for competitions. So I stopped competition in 2010, and at that time I had more free time, and then um, some modeling agency in LA actually found me and they want to sign with me, and so I started modeling professionally. I mean, I've been many like different photo shoots, sports, fashion, runway, but where I am right now, this is one of the like, uh, legendary house and my favorite place to shoot as well. The owner of this house, his name is James Goldstein. He's the icon of a fashion world. And then also he's very interested in art and then, um, architecture as well. Well, actually, you did a great job. I mean, he slammed a couple of times, which I was so surprised. But he has also good eye-hand coordination, so he had also good timing and rhythm. So you're very good. Just need to play a little more. <laughs> well, the last time we played, I hit a forehand smash that Suyun couldn't handle. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of, one of my big sports thrills. <laughs> I look like a rock and roll, like... Wow! This is amazing! Oh, me as well. I love red, you yeah. know, and black com combination. Yeah. Well, I think it's a great combination to be a world-class athlete and a good-looking enough to be a model at the same time.
people think this is such an easy sport. First thing when I meet people and they ask me what I do, I say I'm a professional you know, table tennis player. Okay, the most guys, they first, first word, I can beat you. Even like super athletes, like NBA or NFL players, like you know, they are, even they are professional athletes, they should know how what's the difference between like champion, you know, athlete and then just normal players. So even they say, oh, I can beat you. In this sport, it's it's a, it's difficult. But three techniques I teach. First one is angle. So its angle is very important. Even most people they don't know how to hold the table tennis paddle. And the timing. And the, your movement. So three things I'm, I have to teach them correctly to start. Modeling is very grammar, it's about look and then also about client choice. But table tennis, there is a coach, there is other players. But it's about your dedication and practice, only answer is winning. But modeling is, um, you know, it's more, not much pressure for me. Most of the athletes, because of the focus, they have a strong goal. After they finish their um, you know, athlete career, it's really hard to move on something else. I had this hard time for a year as well. I was luckily found what I enjoy, what I like to do now. But most athletes, they had a really hard time after they retire. I mean, I would like to say for the next generation, um, for athletes, focus on your career and the winning is important, but you know, make your time, make yourself to do other things as well. It's important for your life and the experience, the different cultures, and then, you know, try some different, you know, things. Well, that's it for this week. Join the conversation with us on social media. We are CCTV America on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And now you can watch full frame on our new mobile app, available worldwide on any smartphone for free. Get the latest news headlines and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Weibo. Search CCTV America on your app store to download today. And of course, all of our interviews can still also be found online at cctv-america.com. And let us know what you'd like us to take full frame next. Simply email us at fullframe at cctv-america.com. Well, until then, I'm Mei Lee in Los Angeles. We'll see you next time.